hello viewers i welcome you all from hld of tech channel and today we will talk about installation of a certificate authority server in our on premise domain uh, as we all know that certificate authority server is a very important server uh, which is used to uh, issue uh, certificates for security purpose and we also uh, issue certificate of for https bindings in SharePoint uh, websites or any other websites that are running on on-premise environment in our organization or any environment so uh, this is my domain controller I am going to install the existing role of uh, certificate authority in existing domain controller you may uh, dedicate a separate server for your uh, this purpose of certificate authority server but right now I'm going to install this role in my existing domain controller so this is my domain controller and here I'm going into server manager as it is a role so we are going to click on add roles and features <coughs> and I'm going to click here next next and this is the option of active uh, active directory certificate services i'm going to un uh, check it and it will ask me to allow me to add some fe features that are prerequisites for this role i'm going to allow them then i'm going to click next so next this thing is showing me that I'm going to install uh, Active Directory certificate services to enable scenarios. I'm going to click next. Certification authority server. Okay, se select the roles. Uh, the roles which I'm going to install uh, are certificate authority, certificate enrollment policy web services, certificate enrollment web services, web enrollment, network device enrollment service I'm not going to check it and online responder so uh, for installation of certificates for your websites and configure them on HTTPS these two are important web services and web enrollment I'm going to click next and I'm going to click next next and I'm going to install it it will take some time and after that time my certificate authority role will be installed on my server friends after after processing and installing features for a few minutes it's a feature installation and role has been uh, installed successfully I'm going to close it here it's giving me some uh, post deployment configuration requirement and I am going to click on configure activate directory services on destination server but before configuring it it is always recommended that you restart your server uh, regardless of this thing that it allow it uh, caution you to restart or not okay so I'm going to restart the server okay viewers you have seen that the server has been restarted successfully and now we are going into the notifications and click on configure active directory certificate services on the destination server okay uh, specify credentials it's asking for the credentials I am uh, making this credentials as the administrator of this uh, certificate authority services I'm going to click next select role it asking me to role service to configure I'm going to select okay uh, certificate in authority web enrollment and uh, certificate authority enrollment web services cannot be stored on the same computer so I'm going to uh, enable certificate authority web enrollment and then uh, for I'm, I will click next okay it's asking me that whether it will be a standalone CA or enterprise CA enterprise CA is a CA that is uh, 
a member of domain members <coughs> and are typically online to issue certificates or certificate policies but if we talk about standalone CS they are members or a work group or domain they do not require ADDS and can be used without a network connection uh, since we are installing a CA on our domain and it will act as our uh, domain certificate authority server so we will check this box and we will click next okay uh, it's the first server for example you have multiple uh, additional domain controllers in your and your area of your organization has different departments that are geographically located in different cities and uh, you are controlling them from your centralized database and there are uh, sorry data centers and you have uh, distributed uh, data centers in which your additional domain controllers are installed and you want that they they must have their own subordinate ca that are responsible for issuance of certificate to their respective subdomain then you will click on subordinate ca right now i have i don't have any ca server and i'm going to install a primary ca server or it is also known as a root ca server i will click next okay i will create new private key and the private key i will uh, define will be sha256 you may change them as per your system requirement but this is the most commonly used and I'm going to click on next common name of this CA will be this distinguished name will be this and preview uh, of distinguished name will be this and I'm going to click next okay the certificate with which it will issue will be comprising of five years you may change it as per your requirement after five years the certificate which it will issue to respective site will expire and you have to renew or uh, reallocate a new uh, so, uh, certificate okay so i'm going to click next it's telling me the database location I'm going to click next windows windows in integrated authentication okay now it's asking me choose an existing certificate for ssl or choose and assign a certificate for ssl I'm going to click next and I'm going to click configure uh, it uh, you know that it has been installed successfully now I'm going to click close and I want to configure let's say what additional roles it's asking me uh, I'm going to click on next okay and uh, enrollment service as I told you that it cannot simultaneously install that so I'm going to click on this I'm going to built in and uh, I'm going to select it I'm going to configure it okay my all the roles that uh, I have recently installed have been configured successfully as a best practice we are going to again restart the server after which we will uh, interact with our certificate authority server so stay with me for other few minutes okay viewers our server has been restarted successfully again and now we are going into the certificate authority server okay first time the certificate authority uh, windows has been appearing here and uh, green indication shows that your certificate authority server is running successfully and here are all the modules of uh, this uh, certificate authority server and there are no fail request certificate templates are here revoke certificates issued certificate and uh, you can say that these are the interfaces uh, in our rec next video, we are going to issue a new certificate to our HLTF Tech organization website that is created on SharePoint 2019 environment and we will configure it with uh, in HTTPS binding so that the site may work, uh, may uh, 
be correctly accessed on HTTPS okay so subscribe my channel and continue watching more videos I thank you all